New at 6, we've learned of another problem with the 2016 re-election bid of Rhode Island's most powerful lawmaker. Earlier this week, the Board of Elections ordered House Speaker Nick Mattiello to repay $72,000 that was misspent by his campaign. Now Mattiello is under fire again for failing to disclose all those donations on time. Iowa News reporter Ted Nisi broke the story on WPRI.com. He joins us now live in our studio with the details. Ted. Mike, campaign finance reports are important because they show voters who's donating to politicians and how the money is being spent. But election officials say the reports by Mattiello's political action committee fell short. It's a mistake. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello defending himself after the Board of Elections found his political action committee, or PAC, spent $72,000 more than allowed on his 2016 re-election campaign. Picked out the wrong checkbook. They both had more than enough money in it and we used the wrong account. Following the investigation, the board ordered Mattiello to reimburse the PAC with money from his regular campaign account. But on Thursday, Eyewitness News confirmed another problem with Mattiello's 2016 campaign finances. A Board of Elections official confirms Mattiello's PAC did not file multiple reports that were required for any candidate or committee actively involved in that year's election. The head of good government group Common Cause, John Marion, was first to spot the omission. He argues the problems are far more serious than Mattiello acknowledges, saying in part, by failing to file all the reports required by law for his PAC, Speaker Mattiello also denied Rhode Islanders the ability to follow the money as it poured in as Election Day drew closer. Now, we're being told Mattiello will not face any fines or penalties for failing to file these reports. An elections official tells us their office also dropped the ball by not reminding his PAC to submit its paperwork on schedule. The new treasurer of Mattiello's PAC tells me he blames the problems on the speaker's staff not being familiar with campaign finance law and tells me the mistakes won't be repeated. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.